In this video, I'm going to share a little trick to make the Gutenberg editor work similarly as you have been used to work in the classic editor. That means uh, locking the post or pages to use only the classic block which is available in Gutenberg. As you can see, uh, you can uh, this is a this is the same post uh, in both editors which I'm showing you side by side. Um, both are looking the same the way you work uh, in the classic block in Gutenberg is the same as you work you have been working in the cl classic editor itself so I'll share you uh, how you can make your Gutenberg work like classic editor by locking it to the classic um, block only you won't be able to add a new block or move blocks uh, whatsoever whenever you create a new post or edit a post it it shows you uh, or it let you work like this in a single classic block hey everyone this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub if I'm a WordPress developer and manage Gutenberg Hub where I'm creating useful tutorials and uh, ready to use Gutenberg blogs and templates for you if you are getting started with WordPress Gutenberg editor make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also to the mailing list to receive updates and useful content first of all let me uh, show you why I am creating this video this, the reason is because uh, I've seen a lot of negative comments on the Gutenberg uh, plugin repo and most of the time people prefer to only write and do not use uh, the block system or block feature uh, they like the classic editor so one option for you is obviously you can use the classic editor plugin itself and convert uh, remove the or disable the Gutenberg editor and use the old classic editor but I do not prefer or suggest you to do this because um, Gutenberg is the future and you have to get your hands on it so the the new trick the the, the new way you can do uh, use the both uh, you enjoy the both of the editors is by locking your post or pages uh, for the classic blog only as you can see both are similar in uh, in working with both work similar way the classic blog in the Gutenberg itself is already available and um, you can actually take add it on any page of post in Gutenberg but in this trick in this tutorial I'll show you how to lock your post or pages for the classic area so every time you create a new post uh, the classic block will be added itself and you won't be able to add or remove any other block in the Gutenberg when you create a new post working with the classic block is similar uh, the image has the same options as it were in the in the classic editor itself all the options on the top are similar as well so let's quickly uh, see how you can do this so to do this we are using the templates API of the Gutenberg uh, which is very nice and uh, properly documented on in the block editor handbook official handbook itself so what we will be doing is we'll be locking our posts or pages uh, for the classic block and here is the tutorial for that which is this one here is the function for that so I'll provide you all this uh, myself I have already uh, prepared a function or code snippet basically for you that you will just need to copy and paste so let me uh, I'll provide the link for uh, for the text article and the video description where you can get this code etc so let me explain you the function how, how what, what this function does so basically we're creating a function that defines a post type here uh, I'm uh, currently uh, as a creating it for the default post uh, which is in WordPress you can also use it for pages uh, the default post types uh, there are two uh, custom post types in Gutenberg, uh, in WordPress itself post or pages and you can do the same for any other custom post type as well so you need to define it here uh, for which you want to lock your uh, Gutenberg editor for the classic block and then we need to define uh, the block types uh, in this in this uh, code is a part of the code here so for now I'm locking 
the posts for the core freeform blog the freeform blog is basically uh, the name for the classic editor blog in Gutenberg and on the same link I have pro I'm providing you all the blog names which you can use here in case you are doing it for another purpose so for now uh, this is what it, this part of the code do and then uh, there are two ways you can lock the post template one is all which I am doing right here so the all function this is explained basically here the all the all parameter or argument prevents all operations so it won't allow you to insert a new block move existing block or delete a block as you can see uh, here you can't add a block from the block inserter on the top and you can't even add a block by uh, by adding a slash command because you can't add the slash command because there is already no paragraph block and you cannot even uh, convert this uh, classic editor to blocks because this it is also locked so this is why i'm using the all feature alternatively you can use the insert parameter this prevents inserting or removing blocks but allows moving existing blocks so in case you are you want to basically add a couple of more blocks uh, besides the freeform blocks so you can then lock it to insert so then you a user or your client won't be able to insert or uh, remove the blocks you that are already available when they create a new post but they will be able to move up and down the blocks that are already available for them so anyway for this tutorial for this trick we need to use the argument all so you just simply need to copy this code from here I'll provide you the link and then you need uh, you need to install a plugin called snippets I will provide the link for this plugin as well uh, this is really a nice uh, plugin where you can add a PHP HTML JavaScript or CSS snippets uh, to your WordPress website without messing with the theme files or creating a, uh, a plugin code plugin for by yourself so I have already added the code here as you can see you just need to paste the code which I'll provide you and then make make sure it's on the run everywhere and then click save changes and activate once you do this bingo you are already done this is just one code snippet that is doing this job for you so now every time let me show you in the full screen okay okay now every time you create because we are locking it for post every time you create a new post you'll get this you have a classic block added you can't add a, a new block here you can only use add the content in the classic block um, the way you you have been used to working in with the classic editor itself so you don't uh, you can add all your content in the classic block here but you don't be able to you won't be able to add any block or delete this classic block so this is all similar to how you've been working with the classic editor itself uh, another thing that you can do is there are two things basically when by default Gutenberg has this full screen mode enabled so if you need that old sidebar as well like the like in the classic editor so you can disable this option now, so next time uh, whenever you add a new page or post or whatsoever you 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 see it like this with the left sidebar and the next thing you can do is enabling this top toolbar option now this will basically just move this little options for the classic blog on the top so that they won't interfere with this block toolbar uh, of the classic editor like this so because you really won't need this uh, unless you you need to go to the edit HTML view so let me show you one more thing here in the classic editor you 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 had 
two views visual and text so text will will, will let you uh, do some html coding so this view is available in the Gutenberg classic blog as well but you need to go to that by clicking on the three dot menu option and then going to the edit as html so you can make your html adjustment here and go back to the visual view like this so if you can simply make it set on the top if you don't want to use that much so this way you or your client won't be uh, won't need to don't need to disable the Gutenberg editor but you can actually make use of it you can log this to classic blog for certain post types like post I've done it for posts you can also do it for pages right now if I go to page add new page this is this works um, as normal with the Gutenberg editor I can add new blocks like this I can add new block from here as well but not in the post because for the post I have logged it to uh, to only use the classic block so hope you find this uh, video and the trick useful make sure you subscribe to Gutenberg YouTube channel for more uh, useful tutorials thank you